Take two. Hello to everyone who's watching. I'll be showing a redstone contraption that I've been working on for the past while. It's a shulker box searching system that iterates through shulker boxes and finds the item you need. And it's really quite fast. The redstone behind it really, uh, uh, I can't jump. Redstone behind it takes, uh, let's just say it took maybe, you know, 10, 10 hours to finish and debug. And some of the parts are really quite complicated. And, well, I will be going over most of it and talking about how, what went into making this. But before that, let's just see it working, alright? So let's say you have all of your belongings inside shulker boxes, right? So I have a bunch of shulker boxes. All of them are actually pretty full. I used a shulker box packing system to fill them all into the shulker boxes. And I'll just plop them into the input of the machine right here. Now, here we have the menu of the system. And let's say we want to find... Uh, what do we want? Let's say we want some oak logs, okay? Now we press Q. Oak log enters the system. The shulker box are getting dispensed into the system. And the searcher is working. It's a little loud, apologies. Did it find anything? Ah, we have our oak box with oak logs. Beautiful. And now we can just take the oak log, get rid of the box, and... Huh. Well, I guess that's all I had. Whoops. <laughs> of, of all those shulker boxes, I only had 13 oak logs. Well, let's try to find something else, okay? Let's say we want some prismarine blocks. I'm sure I have a bunch of those lying around in my shulker boxes. Once again, we can hear the system working. Ah, it's already found the first box with some prismarine. Get rid of it. Ah, uh, we have more prismarine. Get rid of it. And even more prismarine. Could it be that I have more prismarine than oak logs? Uh. What? How much prismarine do I have? That's nuts. Uh. Okay, I'll take that. And... Yeah, that's pretty much what the system does. Now if I want some other items, I can just go ahead, say I want some levers, just press Q, the item went into the system, and once again, it iterates through all the boxes, and it tries to find the lever. Do even have levers in the system? Maybe? Ah, guess we do. There's one lever. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Ooh. Huh. One second. There might be some bugs with the system where it doesn't correctly uh, spew the item back into its chest. Gotta look into that. Ah, I see what it did. Ah. A nice lever is stuck in that, that hop right there. Well, I guess it's not bug free yet, but nonetheless, I will w work through the system with y'all. So first of all, we start with the input, right? So right here we have a chest, a hopper, and a dropper. And all of that goes into a bubble column with the redstone piece that is over right here. I'm going to take a comparator output from the dropper, and when they're items, it's going to activate this comparator clock, and it's going to dispense all the items out of the, uh, out of the dropper into the water stream. Alright, so they go into the water stream, and then they land up there above this ice channel. Alright, see if we can get through. 
So after going to the ice channel, they land in this in these hoppers, and they these hoppers point into the the dispenser that's right underneath this rail that I somehow cannot get to. But you get the point. I'll just break open. So right here we have dispenser. Dispenser is going to dispense the shulker box into the box form, and the hopper underneath it. Given our filter item that traveled all the way through the water stream with this with these droppers into this hopper and that this hopper is gonna test whether the shulker box has the desired item and if it does there will be a, uh, a resto signal sent somewhere underneath and that's gonna and after this piston breaks the shulker box the resto signal underneath will redirect the hopper into two different categories. One category containing uh, the shulker boxes that don't have the item, and one containing the ones that do. Okay, so right here, let's seal that back up. And this whole system right here controls the dispensing and the breaking of the shulker boxes. There's a limit to how fast the system can work, and that is the, uh, the hopper, the hoppers. They only try to pull items every four redstone ticks, and that's why the, our system can only work so fast, because the hopper underneath that shulker box right there is only going to try to pull every four, every four redstone ticks, which is eight game ticks. Now there are other kinds of nuances of these hoppers that I don't really understand, but the system works reasonably well, and based on my understanding of redstone, that's how it is. There are many other videos that cover update orders of redstone dust and things like that, but I I don't I honestly don't really know much about those things, so yeah, that's why I got. And right here, here's another very interesting component of our system. To ensure that our filter item travels up the water stream and into the system at maximum speed, here we have a very interesting delivery system for it, right? So our filter item, which we you know, drop out of these two large chests, go into the water stream, up the bubble column, and into a hopper, and the hopper there leads to a instant dropper line. So these droppers right there, they can trigger instantly. They can travel. You can, this dropper line, the way it's set up, allows an item to travel from this one dropper into the last barrel instantly within the same tick. So let's see how it works. All right. Let's lock this hopper so the item doesn't accidentally end up in the system. And let's just put something we don't want in this hopper. Let's say we put this diamond chest plate. Oh. And it's gone. Saw the the rail flash and the chest plate is in the barrel. Could do that again. And it's in the barrel. There were no no noises of these uh Droppers activating, that's not because I killed the noises, it's really because they were all activated at the same time. So I don't quite understand how the resto update order works, so I, I messed around with it. And the gist is, they're all powered at the same time, okay? So due to something called quasi-connectivity in the game, uh, can I break this block so I can get up there? Okay. There's no water above. Good. So due to something called the quasi-connectivity, when we have an item in this dropper, it's going to dis it's going to power this redstone line, and in turn, those are going to bud power these droppers. The way bud powering works is that so the droppers are supposed to activate from this line of redstone, but the line of redstone does not update more blocks. Then that's then what's around it, right? So these droppers don't get notified of the redstone line updating, and that's why we're, we that's why we have a separate redstone line right here going down, 
and updating and powering these rails. Since the rails are powered later than the redstone line updating, these droppers are notified of their uh their activation all at the same time in the correct order. So this one is going to activate and drop the item into this dropper, which in turn is going to activate and drop into this dropper, and all of these activations happen in the same tick. Well, you can think of it as like an instance. As an instant in Minecraft server, whatever thing that goes on in the background. So that's why we can make this item travel very fast through our system. Oh wait. Ah! Now that it's ended up in the, in the hopper right here. Wait, no. Something strange has happened. Where did my diamond chest look? Uh... Uh, uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> let me, let me try to find it. One second. It's probably here. Wait, ah, it's right here. Okay. So we haven't lost it. Cool. So if you're actually interested in how this system all works out and how, uh, you know, how when I press this pressure plate, the, uh, the dispenser dispenses a new shulker box and all that, um, feel free to send me a message, I can show you around this system. But other than that, thank you for watching, and this is my project. It's been a very fun time working on it. Only my second take of this video. Let's hope it works out.